Hi, I'm Ken. And I'm John. And we're... All About Tools. Uh, it's great to be back this week. Uh, I'm thrilled to be back uh, with our audience at home. And, you know, I had a great time back in New England and Massachusetts where I'm from. from. Thanksgiving was a blast, but what a great thing it is to be back here. So I, I'm Well, really we're glad thrilled. to have you back, Ken. You know, I want to... I managed to muddle through the show last week without you. I think you did really well. That show looked fantastic. It looks like it did. we had a great time with Danny. We had a riot. Did you, uh, you, you probably didn't see these. These are some uh, headset that Danny made for me. You know, it's funny because Tom with Bessie, Tom Phillips at Bessie, he gave me a gift too. I've been trying to figure this thing out all, all afternoon. But, you know, <laughs> uh, it's really uncomfortable. See, I told you he wasn't real bright, folks. I mean, not at all. <laughs> Tonight our guest is Tom Phillips from Bessie Clamps. Yeah, and I can still hear real well. Tom, too. you want to come right on out here? Tom, good hey. to see you. Thanks for hey. joining us. Hey, no problem. Thank you for having me. <laughs> these don't work good. Well, no, but I heard you get these splitting headaches, so I thought that I'd help you out with that. Oh, clamp okay. There. I think yeah, I think it does help out the headache, but just goes in the wrong direction. <laughs> right. But uh, no, we're thrilled to have you here today. Great. Thank Excited. you. I'm happy to be here. And. Uh, well, shoot, why don't we get into it and have some fun? You've got a lot of clamps to show. Well, let me just, uh, Tom's background is uh, 26 years in sales in uh, the woodworking industry, so he's well-versed in all of the stuff he's going to talk about. You've been with Bessie for five years now. Correct. So uh, clamps are all you're about right now, so why don't you tell us a little bit about Bessie? Sure. Well, Bessie, first off, Bessie's a family-owned company. Um, we are founded in 1889. It's a steel manufacturer. And 1936, over here, 1936, let me just grab this. Uh, we came out with our first sliding arm cast iron um, bar clamp. And then in 1952, we came out with the all steel sliding arm clamps. And since then, we've continued to innovate, and we've been the leader of the clamping industry. We now manufacture over 1,300 different clamping products, not all of which are going to be here tonight. But we manufacture over 1,300 products, and we distribute in over 90 countries around the world. That one's broken. So, Yeah, that's a broken clamp. Yeah, this is actually a piece of a clamp. What I, well, one of the things you'll probably hear throughout the show tonight is, is with clamps, what it boils down to is it all comes back to the steel. And that's why our relationship as a steel company is so very important with the clamps. Oh, because with the, the steel, you've got, it's, it's the way we heat treat the steel, and we profile the rail. Okay, so it doesn't give, it's not, it doesn't lend itself to bending or flexing or bowing or stretching. And what we're going to show here on this particular piece is this hardened steel set screw, which is the hardest part of the clamp, which actually mates with the serrations on the rail. I'm not sure if you can pick up those serrations on camera, but the serrations on the rail. And you're also going to hear about that on the K body when we move on to that. So, let's start off with our most popular clamp. And that would be? That would be the K-body clamp. All right. And everyone knows mm -hmm. us for our Paradol gonna, clamp. We were the first company to have it. I think we're going to start over here. I'm sorry? We're going to start over here. We're going to start over there? Yeah, we're going to start over here. Already? <laughs> okay. Well, how about, we're going to do this one first, Tom. Huh? Do that one first? Yeah, I think so. You really? I think that's what we had. But that's okay. Now, you go right ahead. Just well, no, right ahead. I was going to... That's no problem. Okay. You go right ahead. No just first, enjoy yourself. Down. That's right. Or just enjoy waiting. yourself. Well, let me just show you. Everybody's familiar with, with everybody's familiar with the pipe clamp. Well, our clamp has some distinct advantages over the pipe clamp. In fact, there's really no comparison. Number one, our clamp actually stands up by itself. It doesn't lend itself to falling over. It stands up by itself. But the most important thing is it's guaranteed for life to stay 90 degrees to the rail front and back. What that means is you're actually getting parallel clamping. You're not squeezing. You're not bowing. You're not bending. You're twisting your project. And just to give you an example. With our clamp, say you're doing you're doing a glue up on a panel, and when he does the frame, and an application like this, an application like this, you would actually need three pipe clamps. Well, we can do the same job with one of the parallel clamps. What I mean by that is because the pressure is the same back here as it is out here, same with down here. You're getting even pressure. You're squeezing evenly. So we get we do not get any bowing or deflection from the uh, clamping pressure. With a pipe clamp, if you notice, as you tighten the clamps down, the jaws are actually knocked in and they straighten themselves out because the pipe bends. Tom, can that clamp be used on its side as well? Yes, absolutely. <coughs> uh, well, that's the nice thing about this clamp too, is because the rail is galvanized, it won't leave marks on your wood. So you can work directly on the rail, 
unlike with black pipe that'll leave marks. You can actually work on the side of the rail. You can even work on the back of the rail. Again, because the pressure is the same everywhere along the clamp. Okay, so, so let me just understand. So when you tighten up this clamp, it's going to draw the same down here as it does at the top. So Correct. it's going to keep everything square in the clamp? Correct. And I can show you what I mean by that. Can you tell us how it does that? How it does it? Well, it's a it's family secret. Okay. No. <laughs> Actually, it's the way the, the clamp is designed, and I'll show you that. Hey, we get the bean recipe from the dog, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you that in a minute. What we're looking at here is, because we have parallel clamping, we can tighten this down. As, the you more we tighten this down, the tighter it's going to get. Now, granted, I'm going to lose a little bit from the wood pressure, but what we're trying to show here is that you actually have pressure at the top of this. Uh, unlike with a pipe clamp or any other clamp, the more you tighten it down, the more it wants to bow or stretch or flex. Uh, another very important part of this clamp is because of the way the steel is heat treated, it doesn't breathe. You can put this, tighten this clamp down and come back a week later and it's just as tight as the day you left it. Unlike pipe clamps and things where you need to continuously go back and retighten them because the pipe is actually stretching. Is that right? That's, That's why it does that? Yep. Or the clutches are slipping depending on the age of your clamp. Okay. All right. So, well, a little, right, bit, a little bit more about this clamp is we have this foot on the back here which allows the clamp to stay stand up properly on your bench and allows you to move the jaw in any, anywhere along the rail without having a rocking motion. But you can also remove this foot and you can take this handle and you can actually turn it around and now you can use this as a spreader attachment. If you need to take something apart or if you're building a frame and it has a bow towards the center, you simply put this in and you can use it as a spreader attachment. Now do these also slice, dice and make julian fries? <laughs> uh, well, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> well, one of the things you asked about how does it stay parallel? Well, number one is the way we fasten this head to the, to the rail here. It's actually uh, pressed on there and then it's put through with two rivets and it's, it's reinforced with steel on the inside. All the jaws are covered with polymid that resists glue and, and, and varnish and stain and things like that. And that has the same metal set screw inside of it, it looks like. Yes, so this, is, this is what I was going to point out earlier. I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually a set screw here. Now, you never have to touch or turn or adjust the set screws. They're set for life. Is it, can we actually get a shot on that, Dave? And there's, a, there's a set screw here in the bottom. Okay, and then there's another one over here at the top. And the way those are positioned on the rail is the, is the top one is towards the back and the bottom one is towards the front. So they're actually sitting on the rail in is this it configuration. The threads okay. of the set screw that grab the teeth? Yes, so when I want to move this clamp, I simply have to lift the handle to kind of disengage those screws, and then I can slide this back and forth. When I want to tighten the clamp down, I simply push down on the handle as I'm turning, and those set screws lock right in. Unlike now, a pipe clamp where you've got to lift out? it. Do those teeth wear out, and then you lose your grip over time? Absolutely not. They actually, the set screws are probably the hardest part of this whole clamp, and they'll, they'll cut right into these grooves every time. Even if there's a glue on there, it'll cut right through the glue, and it'll set right into those serrations every time. Now, the set screws are actually lock on the top and the bottom serrations, and I don't know if you can see this on camera either, but we have six sides of serrations. And they're, they also mate with the other portions inside the cast jaw on the back end. We also have the steel rollers here, which also roll along the rail, and that's what allows the back end to stay parallel. It doesn't allow it to give it all. So there's a lot that really goes into this clamp. We've, this clamp has been around for 26 years. It, it's essentially remained unchanged. It's very simple. Um, there are other particular clamps out there on the market. Ours remains tried and true for 26 years. Um, one of the things about Bessie clamps... Now, has anybody tried to copy your design? Yes, the design has been copied. Um, I, I suppose it's imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. I guess that's what they say. So, yes, the design has been copied, but it's never been truly copied to the accuracy of the K-body. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and again, with clamps, it all comes back to the steel. Um, we're, we get 1,100 pounds of pressure out of this clamp, and wow. we've measured these. And some of the other um, different clamping products that are out there don't necessarily achieve that, that uh, level of pressure. I've noticed with some clamps I've used in the past that what happens is these bars all tend to bend. They all what? They all tend to bend with time. Okay, well, see, that, that, these, that won't happen here um, for a number of reasons. Number one is because we actually profile our rail. It's like an I-beam construction, so it's very rigid in all directions. And the way it's heat treated and the way it's cold rolled steel, it will not stretch, it doesn't bend, it doesn't lend itself to flexing. So <coughs> the clamps are very, very accurate in that respect. What do we have here? Okay, what we have over here is uh, an extension of the K-bodies, what we call our, our K-body cabinet door kit. And what you're looking at is we've got four blocks here, 
And they're made of the same polymer as what's, what's coated on our, uh, uh, the jaws of the clamps. If you look at these blocks, they're cut deep in one direction and shallow in the other direction. And they are all pre-drilled, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. What you do is you lay these clamps out on your bench, or excuse me, you lay the blocks out on your bench in this particular fashion. Okay, something along the lines of that. There we go. Got it. And because the clamps are parallel and remain parallel to the rail, these blocks are holding your clamps at 90 degrees. So what we've got is we've got a full uh, square box here. Now, I mentioned about the screw holes in the, in the blocks. You, we recommend, if anything, you fasten one to the bench. You don't necessarily okay. have to fasten any, but what we recommend you fasten one because this allows the other three to float and kind of pull into square as you're okay. tightening something down. All right. Now, that would be, uh, you would put one in if you were going to be doing different sizes all the time. Yes. But if you had a station where you were making the same size doors, or maybe they were always the same length, but a different width, you could tie these two down and leave these loose. Absolutely. Okay. And right. you can, if it's a lot of repetition, you can fasten them all down if you wanted to. Okay. That's pretty cool. So. so how does it work when you clamp up a door? Okay. Well, when you're clamping up a door, now there's a couple, obviously a couple different styles, different ways to do it, but in this particular application, what we're showing here is we're lining up the cabinet door. Okay. And this is the floating panel, raised panel door. And what we're doing is we're snugging it up here, and we don't really even have to worry about checking this, the, the trueness of the square because we know that the clamps are <coughs> parallel and we know that the blocks are holding them parallel. So what we have here is a perfectly square cabinet door. Now the idea behind this is if you're doing a lot of this, what you can do is you can literally lift this after the glue sets, just lift right. or after the clamps are down, lift this out, set it off to the side, put four more clamps in and keep going, and the blocks will still stay right where they are. Another uh, thing that we have, a lot of uh, uh, you customers have the um, uh, work right wood welders. Mm -hmm. It's a radio frequency welder, and I could see where this would be a perfect station to uh, glue it up, hit it in the four corners with the welder, loosen the clamps, take it out, and that way, I mean, not good for you, but you wouldn't need near as many clamps. But you can just stand them up and then move on, so you don't right. have to wait for the glue to dry. Right, exactly. But the best thing about that, though, is, is and I totally agree with you, is the fact that with these clamps, you don't have to worry about, again, checking squareness, because they're all going to be perfectly square. Okay. What's also nice about this block system is you can do picture frames and, and that type of thing with mitered corners. And the beauty of that is, is by loosening these clamps, they allow you to slide these wherever you need them to be. If you want to clamp directly on the, on the corner, put pressure directly on your miter corner, you can do that and allow you to fasten here. Uh, it also, the blocks will also give you a certain degree of work surface to work on because you've got your blocks laid out there so you have actually a platform to work from. So, again, <coughs> yep. What do we have on the front here? This looks all adjustable. On the front here is what we have is, this is what we call our Maxa system. And what this allows you to do is to actually clamp up a K-body in any length K body from the 12 inch all the way up to the 98 inch K body and allows you to maintain full functionality of the tool. So if you're doing things like surface planing or perhaps you're doing edge banding, things like that, what you can do is you can loosen this up and this allows you movement up to 270 degrees. So you can simply put the edge band on this side, put the edge band on this side, you still maintain the full functionality of your clamp. And again, it'll work <coughs> Excuse me, we have a question. Uh, I don't know if you can answer this or not. What grade of steel is used in the clamp? And that's from Charlie in Jacksonville. Okay, Charlie in Jacksonville. The actual grade of steel, um, gosh. Really hard. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And uh, shiny, too. Hate to put you on the spot. Dep <laughs> depending on the clamp, there are several, several different grades of steel, but uh, the actual Rockwell hardness... I don't know the exact answer to that. I guess I'll have to be honest with that. Okay. Well, wanna... we'll get that for you, Charlie. We'll get we'll that for you, Charlie. We'll get Charlie back to you. gets a T-shirt. He stumped us. Uh -huh, yes, right. he did. Okay. All right. What's okay. the next clamp we're going to talk about? Well, some of the other parallel clamps that we have. This is this is in the next family of parallel clamps. Is the what we call the the uniclamp, and it's a, it's a cousin of the K body. It maintains the same parallel features <laughs> as the K body, but it's built on a lighter duty frame. And uh, this one also is reversible. You simply pop this foot off and turn it around. And this only comes in three sizes, and it's generally used for some of the smaller projects, uh, such as uh, jewelry boxes and things of that nature, smaller picture frames. Was uh, the Bessie Company started by a woman? Uh, not that I'm aware of, no. I think that's well, Max yeah. Bessie. Because <clears throat> before I show you this next one, is my wife out there anywhere? No. No, but Karen's here. <laughs> I mean, Sharon's here. 
This is kind of wonder, I was wondering why, you know, maybe if it might be a, a woman that started the factory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, it was a woman that came up with this idea. Uh, it, I, I don't doubt that at all. Yes, we were at a trade, trade show one time, and we had these things laying around, and she was... A very, a very angry woman, <laughs> mind you. She was the only <laughs> woman with a bunk. recently have gone through a divorce, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> I know what we can do with these. <laughs> But actually, what we're showing here is because we have a parallel clamp in the in the unit clamp as well as the K body, we can actually clamp two round spheres together without having them pop off to the side one way or the other. <laughs> well, that hurts just looking at it. <laughs> well, we do have some other parallel clamps that I'll we'll cover real quickly. Um, this particular parallel clamp, this is our, what we did with the sliding arm technology. We took the locking player technology and we put the two together to create a parallel clamp. Let's see if I can do this on camera. Parallel clamp, one-handed parallel clamp. Release levers off to the side so it pops away from you. You don't need two hands to open it. There's no adjustment between sizes. That's really nice. So, again, when you're working alone and you need that extra hand and you don't have two hands to put something together, you can hold your project and clamp with this. Can you actually adjust the pressure on that? The pressure doesn't need to be adjusted. It's adjusted automatically. No, no, I mean, like, let's say you wanted a harder grip on that, or is it just fixed at the factory and that's all you need? Pretty much, okay. yeah. I mean, there is right. some, some slight adjustment here. We really don't recommend it. Okay. Uh, we actually have a, a locking screw here, because one of the other problems with some of the other products is you bump that screw with your hand, okay. and then when you want to try to tighten down, you have to come back here and let go of your project. Okay. So we kind of just lock it in, and it's all set. Now, is this as long as they come? This, is, this happens to be the 8-inch eight inch, eight inch opening model. We have a 4-inch as well. Uh, the jaw pads are removable. They're non-miring jaw pads, but they are removable. If you're doing a metal type application, they're simply just like your normal um, pipe jaws. We have some other different different styles of this. We have a deep reach. We have a pipe clamp, and we have some other things. This generally comes from our welding side of the business. Uh, the big difference with this and with some of the other products is weld spatter will not stick to this. So it was designed with the welder in mind. Of course, we adapted it to woodworking because. A major portion of woodworkers tend to work alone. They need that extra hand. Now, why would you use that instead of a <laughs> A major por portion of woodworkers need to be working alone. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you don't see all the mistakes. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier in the show, this was one of the first clamps that we came out with, the malleable cast iron bar clamp. And a lot of times some people say, you know, K-bodies, boy, it's, a, it's no question about the quality of the clamp. But, you know, it's going to be a little, little pricey, a little expensive. So that's where these come in. These are all purpose clamps. They're, they're fixed. The head is pressed on and, and fixed at 90 degrees. That's you the don't, Tradesman? Tradesman series. Okay. And what they'll do is they'll square up their project using the K bodies, and then they'll just use this to supplement their clamping. Because like they say, you can never have enough clamps. Okay. Before we go to break, um, let's go ahead and show that uh, last clamp there. We yes. have just a couple of minutes before we go to commercial. Okay. What this is... One minute, actually. Okay. What this is here, this is a parallel clamp as well. It's also a mini vise. We're going to show this a couple of times during the show tonight because it is a pretty versatile clamp and very inexpensive at that. If you're doing a 90-degree corner or something, what you can do is because this is a parallel clamp, you've automatically got that set at 90 degrees. Other applications, what you can do is joinery, okay, is you can actually just join two pieces of wood together knowing that they're parallel and tied together. You could use that like on face frame cabinetry when you're installing it to lock the face frames together. Exactly right. You could use okay. it for that as well. One of the nice things is you can pull out these two bars that maintain the, make the allow the clamp to be parallel, and you can put there's holes built in the front here. This is really cool. Watch this. Okay, and what you can do here <coughs> is it allows you because the jaws actually pivot once you take those bars out, you can clamp up an odd shape piece whether it's some project you're working on. Okay, what that allows you to do is to hold that so that you can clamp something that's odd shaped. That's kind of neat. So it's going to fit to no matter what, you know, what shape you've got. Exactly. And Ken, if you hand me one of those small clamps over there, right there. Oh. What I these are for. Have, I think you have five seconds. You've got five seconds. Can okay. you do it in five seconds? Yep. And these actually there put in go. here so you can fasten to the bench from either direction. All right. Be right back. Very good.